what day, I guess Thursday, must be Thursday, but my facet joint relocated in the night, thankfully I mentioned last night that it had dislocated and was causing a lot of pain, um, so yay, it's relocated, <laughs> but my back still really hurts, and it will for a while, why, but, um, because I don't have anything I can take for it, I can't even take NSAIDs because of my liver, so, whatever, but the incense don't really help anyway, so, <laughs> but I could not sleep well last night, I kept waking up because of the pain, and because of it, I could only sleep in very stiff positions, which I'm not good at doing, <laughs> so that was difficult, but, uh, it's, I woke up an hour and a half early at 8 a.m. today, so that way, I would have time to take my nap and edit the vlog before my doctor appointment, so that's good. Um, currently working on taking my medicine, and I have some anime going on Netflix on the TV while I take it, and then I'm going to see about eating vlog and then some breakfast. I don't feel like eating because the pain is making the nausea bad, and so I'm putting that off. <laughs> But, uh, I don't feel too well, but I'm hoping I'll feel better by the time I'm at the doctor. We'll see. So. Okay, so, today's just getting better and better. Started out with my SD card projecting itself across the room and down into a hole, which I did get it out. I used my EDS flexibility and smashed my arm into there and I did get it out. Um, and then I found out, um, well, I'm gonna figure out how to say this best time. I have to make my brain work. I'm gonna go for my mast cell issues and somebody put a post on there. Okay, get right back to that. Last year, there was a big recall on EpiPens. Um, it was a big deal because there were dysfunctional parts in some of the EpiPens and so they recalled the, those lots. Um, they weren't necessarily bad, but they could be dysfunctional and when you're going to anaphylaxis and you need an EpiPen, you cannot have a dysfunctional EpiPen. It's just not cool and they were liable if that to happen, so they needed to get those in and replace them. So, um, Hannah Hannah, Hannah has EpiPens. She's never actually had anaphylaxis, but she has them in case she does because we also suspect, suspect her of a cell. And so um, our previous allergist did get her EpiPens. Um, and hers were in the lot, so we had to take care of that. Mine were safe, however. Today, I was on my mouse cell group. Somebody put a link up to um, a list of recalled Epis. And I was kind of confused because I was like, well, this isn't a new recall. It was just a list that hadn't been up before. This was, like, put up in March. The other stuff was after that, like, before that. This was after the other list had been out. So this seemed like a bit of a later list, maybe. And unfortunately, sorry, my epi was on it. So... What happened was, I had, I had one allergist, and, um, she prescribed me four EpiPens. She wanted me to have, like, two in an emergency kit in my house, and then two that I always kept with me, um, because two EpiPens are kind of the safe thing to do, because you can have the initial reaction, and what can happen is you have your rebound reaction, which comes can come back anywhere from like an hour to eight hours later and um I do tend to have a rebound reaction so having two EpiPens is the safe thing to do so that's why I have four um and I had a few months ago like yeah a few months ago I had this really bad flare where I was having a lot of anaphylaxis and we ended up using like three of my EpiPens um it would have been two, but my uncle accidentally shot himself with one of them, so we ended up having these three. Um, he's fine, don't worry, it was just a quick thing. <laughs> yeah, 
Um, but yeah, we so um, I have this is that so this is an older EpiPen and um, you gotta get that taken care of. My mom called the pharmacy already and we're working on getting that taken care of, which is good. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. She's already um, going there today because Rachel has an appointment with our rheumatologist. So she's already going by the pharmacy because Rachel needs meds for her pots. And I need my Finnegan for my nausea. Um, so she's already going today anyway. So she can hit up the pharmacy and yay. It's just one of those things where you're just going seriously. And it feels like it's going to be one of those days, you know? But, it doesn't have to be. For one, you can go look at my Instagram. Caroline Keith. No spaces or anything like that because I beat the other me to the handle. If you do know, there is another Caroline Victoria Keith in the world. Spelled the exact same way as me. And yes, we are actually related. It's a freaky story and it was a completely random happenstance. Um, yeah. It was freaky. Apparently we have met. I don't think either of us remember it. We were very, very young ch children, barely toddling on our little feet. But, um, yeah, we are related. On my dad's side. Well, obviously on my dad's side because we have the same last name. I didn't think that one through. I don't think many things through, honestly, though. But, I'm gonna take you a second. Here's something pretty here. It's so pretty. Let's see. And quiet, so it came out early. It's nice, isn't it? Ooh, trees. Leaves are starting to fall. Autumn's coming, I'm so excited. Or I guess autumn's here now. It feels so good outside. It really does, I'm so excited. Autumn's finally coming. But I'm also kind of bummed because it means people are starting to burn leaves. Not very excited about that. I hate burning. Burning season is really frustrating. I'm probably going to be seeing the ER a few times, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I'm not excited about that. But I'm really happy for fall. Really, really happy. Feels amazing already. It really does feel good. I wish y'all could feel this. This is so nice. But, okay, I'm gonna go and you will probably be seeing Rachel or Mama next because they will probably be heading to the doctor. So, bye. But I'm not happy because it's hot again today and there's a lot of disabled people at the clinic so all the disabled parking spots are taken and we have to park way in the back and it's hot and I have to walk all the way to the front which my heart takes and I just want to be able to sit down and take a break halfway through but that would mean I would sit in the heat longer so that's not really possible. So, gonna get in and then uh, get an elevator. Oh, the other day, no, and the other day, Hannah, it was like the day you disappeared on me. It was like you sat down and then I helped. But there's an elevator. Oh, the elevator. Yeah, so I have to go in and put an elevator after walking all the way through the heat. And then I'm gonna basically almost fall over and be leaning on her shoulder like always. And <laughs> go sit down until they call me in. So. I'm gonna go up my miserable elevator ride. See y'all in a bit. We just got at Whole Foods after going to the doctor and we're about to eat lunch in the van. Before we left, I had made some chicken salad and I got some cucumber seed with it for myself. We got Mama some chips to go with hers. And I we also got cheese, seed. I got an orange zia, which is uh, naturally sweetened. Um, sugar free soda, it's with the and stevia, and we, Mama's gonna try out this 
iced green tea that's going to make very pomegranate flavored. Um, we also got Hannah a, a all watermelon lemonade. Oh, you stick that in the ice chest. Yeah, good idea. Stick that in the ice chest. Mom is very excited because So Delicious hat now has uh, peach flavored yogurt cups, and she loves her yogurt. Um, they're really yummy, but I can't eat them on my diet. I'm really excited because we found this. It's a mix of sea vegetables. So I'm excited to try that. Maybe I'll try that tonight. And then to for, go with my lunch, I have some freeze dried strawberries, which are really yummy. We got this rice ramen for Mama and Anna and whoever. Um, we got some soap and we got coffee. So we're gonna eat and then we are going to go to at home. But the doctor appointment really well. By the time we left, the doctor was big, almost giddy because he was really happy because my medicine protocol is working really well and um, my diet's going really well. He said if I wanted, I could use a steroid shot for my spine pain, but he would prefer not to, which I agreed with. I don't want to have to do that if not necessary, so we didn't do that. And the pain should get better soon though. Uh, next few days it should be better. So I'm happy that went really well and I'll see him again in three months. And after we eat we'll go to at home because it just opened up across from Whole Foods. And so we're really excited about that. And that should be fun. This is so pretty. I really like it. Ah, you can hear the Halloween decorations screaming. But oh, so pretty. Oh and they have a red one. It's so pretty. I like it. it on it. Yeah, but they're so pretty. This is a snowman one, but that sounds pretty. Oh, look at the one with the peacock on top. Oh, that's pretty too. Oh, and the tail goes down the tree. Yeah. We. She wanted to know where to start, and of course, I said Christmas stuff. Yes. Oh, I like this one. It actually looks like snow. It doesn't. Ah, oh, so pretty. And that looks cool. I like that. So pretty. <laughs> that is adorable. Yes, it's not actually. It lights up, it says. Oh yeah, it's not actually a headband, but I could take it to my head. I could get wire and make a headband with it. Turn it, see if the light turns on. Where does it light up at? It's all up in here. Oh, it like plugs in to light up. Well, I guess we can plug it into your head though. Oh, is it a tree topper? It's with the tree toppers. That's cute. That's a frosty tree topper. They have a snowman head one too. And uh, that would be funny if on top of your tree. <sighs> all the smelly stuff. Should we get that for Christmas this year? I don't think so. No. Like I'm thinking, this place would kill Caroline right now. Those are pretty. Oh, they are. It's a weeping willow light up tree, and I want it so badly. I'm obsessed with weeping willows. Mel's found a weeping willow sapling on Minecraft, and I was just obsessed. And I have it in the middle of my tree house, greenhouse. I mean, oh, look at it. It's so pretty. They could go right outside my bedroom window. <laughs> oh, in a lamp post, like in Narnia. Pillows are all color sorted and. We kind of oh. like it a lot. Oh. <laughs> I am especially a fan of the purple. That's beautiful. That would go in my. I want something like this for my bedroom. <laughs> oh, it's soft too. Yeah. Look at that. How much is I like. Ooh. I'm getting this. It's gonna so help with my uh, unstabilized facet joints in my neck so much. They hurt so much in the car and also in bed. And I always have to have neck support, so this is gonna really help. And it's smelly foam and the fabric is soft and with my sensory processing disorder that is very important. It's so oh comfy. Yeah. So I guess I'll take it off. But I'm really happy. Go <laughs> to heart. It's even shiny. I like this one. It has a little metallic to it. It looks more like paint. So I like this one more I think. Ah, oh, so pretty. But the lacquered one looks like a geode itself. I like just like the more painting into a quotation. Well, this one. I love succulents, but not only that, but I love the colors of it and the paint strokes. It's just so pretty. Ah, I love it. If it wasn't $90, I'd be buying it. 
The neck pillow feels awesome and I love it so much. It's awesome. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm drinking. I have an open container. No, it's tea, guys. <laughs> but, um, so this is really helping. It feels so good on my neck. Um, and so I'm really happy about that. And you boy Hannah's feeling really bad, so we would call her and call my daddy to work things out to see if we had to go home yet or not. But daddy turns out he doesn't have to work late, he was worried he might, but he's about to be home so he can watch Sarah when he gets there. So we're going to go visit my grandfather in the hospital. Oh, he's in rehab. Well, he's in rehab up here now. So we're going to go visit him at rehab and then go by the library. I have to fix my library card. They said that it's, whoa, tricky camera, <laughs> I'll fix that. Um, they said that my life, on the phone that my library card had to be renewed, which I don't get because Mama and Caroline didn't have to be renewed and they got those before mine, but they said I just have to go in and show them my ID, whatever. Apparently the word some person other than me is using my library card for nefarious purposes. She's using it. <laughs> so you're using it for nefarious purposes? Not for nefarious purposes, but because I go in and yeah. do it myself, it's probably why I don't have to do it. And they're like, oh yeah, that's her. Yeah. And Caroline goes in and uses hers. And I guess because you haven't been there in person. Yeah. And you said, but you have. I don't know. What the deal? <laughs> they haven't asked me, and I had mine first. Well, we're going to go fix that. And, of course, your books. <laughs> Because I can't go there without getting books. And I want more manga. I need the next Fairy Tales, Tokyo Ghouls, um, see if they have more My Hero Academia, and do, see about Leona of the Dawn. Because I did it in a library loan on the first Leona of the Dawn, because the library system didn't have it. But apparently because of that, they decided just to buy the manga instead. So I'm hoping they bought the second one too. We'll see late and I am exhausted but it was such a good day I, uh, I'm tired guys but the doctor appointment went well so I'm really happy about that it was fun to go to the stores especially home good I mean at home that place was so cool I love it there and we even bought stuff so that was so cool and I'm gonna go there more it's so fun I love that store and then we got to see my grandfather, which was great. And I got to talk with the librarians and get new manga. And then while resting at home, I rewatched um Konokachi um A Silent Voice. I had only seen it once, so it was great to see it again. I love it just as much still. And then I gamed some with Mills. And supposedly David, it said he was online. I never actually saw him or heard him. Don't know. But it, it, that was so great. And I got hedgy cuddles. So even though it was a high pain day, it was great. And I got to spend a lot of it having fun with Mama. So I'm happy and hopefully the pain will be better tomorrow. We'll see. It is. It's not as bad now as, as it was this morning because this morning was like making me really nauseous. So that's good. I'm, well, I mean the spine pain itself. Overall, my pain is just as bad because my joints are angry at me for walking on them. However, the pain from the dislocation specifically isn't as bad. But like right now, my knee is particularly adding up, acting up, my hips, and so many joints. But I'm going to get some sleep. Thank you for watching. It was so much fun today. And I will see y'all tomorrow. God bless.